like of, of flesh, very sensitive flesh, touching a very hot piece of metal. Right? I didn't actually hear that, but that, that's what the, in my mind, right? He's like, oh, well, yeah, right? You know, <laughs> it's kind of a sensitive part of your body. And so I, I did a combination, little, I did like a little get my butt away from that hot nail kind of thing with a combination of I don't want to die, falling off the cliff. Sort of. Yeah? yeah? Right? It kind of was like a, whoa! I don't know. Or it, more of it was more like, I don't know, but it was, yeah, don't do that. The other, the, here's a funny thing, though. We had a generator. We did have a generator. We fired up the generator, plugged in the skill saw. The generator was one horsepower. Skill saw was one horsepower. When we turned the skill saw on, the generator went, ow, 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 and the saw blade went around like this. <laughs> that was funny. And the other funny thing about that project was um, my uncle, who is not yet a rear admiral, but was, w would become a rear admiral, his son and I were working on the porch roof, right? And every now and then when we were bored, we'd say, oh, he'll never notice. You'd hear stomp, stomp on the roof above. His head would come over. How's it going, guys? That was reliable, right? <laughs> just, just to try that. When you're working on something, just try. Oh, he'll never notice. Or, or she'll never notice. And like, notice what, right? <laughs> and then the other thing, and this isn't, wasn't so funny, was um, mm -hmm. we had a thunderstorm. We just put the tar paper on, right? And a thunderstorm's moving. And this is perfect timing, by the way, right? Okay, and I'm climbing down and I'm on an aluminum ladder and I'm touching a little bit of metal drip strip that's on the edge. There's like a thing that the water drips off of, right? And uh, my, my arm's touching that and the drip strip act like an, in, like an antenna. So when the lightning hit on the top of the hill, you know, half a mile away, that drip strip shocked the crap out of my arm. I'm just like, ah! You know, not the crap out of it, but it was like, it was like an electric fence, only a little more gutsy. They can like poo <laughs> like this. I did not fall off the ladder. Though. That's a, that's a good thing. Did the, ladder fall off? the ladder stayed on the house. You know, it wasn't like the Super Bowl ad, right? Okay. And then I've got the the steel balls and paper. Uh, 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 it's not quite maybe what you think. Hold your um, hold this up like this. There you go. That's good. Okay. Now these are. These are metallic spheres, <laughs> yes? When they are in contact with each other, how much of that, how much area is their point of contact? Tiny. Yeah, in, you know, in mathematical terms, it's a point, correct? But with real things like steel, it really isn't just zero area. It's got to have some area. But when I slam these together, right, the pressure is going to be pretty intense, and all that kinetic energy is going to turn into, well, let's just see what it turns into. I think, the, I think you know what it's going to turn into. Sniff that. Here, hold yours up. Yummy. What does it smell like? It smells like campfire. Yeah, it's like a little campfire memories there. Now pass this. Now once you've sniffed it, pass it back, and then you guys have to pass it to the front. On its way forward, you can give it a second sniff if you'd like. In the back, as it were, you could sniff it twice if you, if you like. <laughs> I don't want to do your graft. You, have the, you don't have the lab. Here, I'll do your homework. Do you guys smell that? No, we didn't get that number. Didn't he pass it back? I don't get that number. I did. Do you think you smell it? That dog's not hunting. You didn't smell the burning paper? It smells like that. Here. Here. <laughs> All right. Here's some pictures. Here's some pretty pictures. Okay. Um, this is the best one. Obviously, here, here's what I'm talking about with bike brakes, right? There's the little disc. Um, and that's got holes in it even to, to cool it off. Notice this one. This one has deep air channels inside of it. It basically is, a, when it's spinning, is a squirrel cage fan. Air is, is uh, I believe it comes out of the outside of this, like centrifugal force. And it's got air channels to let the air in there. So. There it is. This is just a diagram of a disc brake, but yeah. And then let's do um, let's do an example of this. Uh, Myron Wonder Game. Yep. Baseball. Baseball. Get it? Yeah, there you go. Megan gets it. Yeah. Jared gets it. Okay. Uh, let's a 54.1 kilogram weight fall. This could be. 
this could be like Keenan, for example, right? Last night we were at the Mazama Center and I was, I was belaying him. And like belaying is like you protect them from falling, right? And then at the top, you just lower them down. And then he belayed me. And at some point, I, he, always like, he was lowering me down. And one of the guys said to Keenan, has he ever treated you badly? <laughs> Keenan like, oh, yes, he has. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I'm a creator, right? But the, the cool, the, 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 the funny thing is, like, when you lower somebody from the top of that wall, you've got this little belay, you've got a harness on, you're clipped to this anchor so that it can't pull you off the ground, right? You've got this harness on, there's a little belay device, and it, it basically just makes the rope go around a carabiner and then back out along its almost the same path, right? That thing gets warm. You can feel that thing getting warm. And one of the dangers to the rope when you rappel, if you rappel a long distance, is that that little beaner gets so hot but if you leave it on the rope, it like puts a crease in the rope, right? It melts the rope a little bit, which is bad because ropes cost a lot of money, right? So let's look at this one. Let's suppose here I'm making a belay device with water. So I come there and I've got this big liter of water attached to my belt. I'm like the alpha belayer. I've got a water-cooled belay device, yeah? Wow. Yeah, right? You know, nobody would trust that first right off the bat, right? Okay, so what it is is it's MGH, the person being belayed, right? We belay them down, and that becomes MCAT, right? And then this guy is uh, 0.872 kilograms of water. This is 4,186 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius. And then what's my change in temperature? 10. 10, from 20 to 30. Do I add 273.15 to that? Yeah, if I want to get it wrong, I could do that, right? Okay, but, but generally I don't need to. Why don't I need to add 273.15? Because it's difference in temperature, correct? Yeah. The, the best answer is that it's difference in temperature, not because it's in Celsius and Celsius is okay, but because we're talking about a difference. You could, it wouldn't be, it would be a fail to add 273.15. It wouldn't be a fail to add 273.15 to 20 and 273.15 to 30. And then subtract. It'd be just kind of silly wouldn't it? Yeah. Mathematically. But it would, that, that would be the, the correct thing to do if you really are worried about it. But then again, it doesn't make any difference, right? So this is, I'm going to replace this with equals, and then we got 54.1, 9.81, and then the height is what we're trying to find. So I think we can calculate that. 0.872 times 41.86. Divided by 54.1, divided by 9.81. Do you guys get 68.77 or something like that? Yeah. I'll say 68.8. Yeah. So that's basically a climbing rope, isn't it? Climbing ropes are 70 meters long. Okay. Now, just for fun, just for fun, let's not have, let's not have it be. Um, water, let's just change it and make it like 500 grams. I, I can't imagine that that belay device, I bet the belay device has a mass of, of 250 grams. So let's make it 250 grams of aluminum, which is 900, right? And find the change in temperature, right? Just for fun, what is the change in temperature of times 68.8 meters, right? Try that. It's going to be a lot, a lot more, isn't it? So 54.1 times 9.81 times, I'm going to use the answer that I got because I'm going to cheat, uh, divided by 0.25, divided by 900. That's 162 uh, degrees Celsius. What's the melting point of a plastic rope? I don't know. Okay. I know it won't melt in boiling water, but at 162, maybe it would, right? So you could see how you could melt a rope with all that because you, it's easier to heat aluminum, and there's a, lot, there, a quarter of a, a kilo would be really a lot. It's probably all concentrated on like 50 grams of aluminum that's just right there on your carabiner. So. I don't know. That's what kind of problems these are. Um, Let's have you guys try. 